Vegetables are primary cash crops for most farmers in Africa. Farmers generally sell to the first buyer who comes along or the buyer with the best price. Brokers often dictate prices leaving farmers with low bargaining power. The produce farmers cannot sell to the buyers at the farm gate cause considerable losses. In this area is uh, very fertile and the vegetables they do very well. Once I planted the vegetables, I couldn't sell. I could throw even to animals because uh, everybody was having them in plenty. I couldn't even store because uh, of storage. Tuna enda pia na kiremment. Kuna kipindi ya chua. Mboga inaenda mpaka inafika 2000 by one sack. Na kipindi ya mufua inateremuka mpaka 300. Pake tunawekanga ya masaga ya 100, managu ya 150. Kuna kipindi sikiwe mingi. Unakuta inauzwa mpaka 30 from 100 yao to 30. Hata ukiusa, iwesi rutisa hile pesa enyo ulitumia katika garama kusugulikia hiyo kasi ya mboga. Nonetheless, farmers have found solace in solar dryers. Apart from managing excessive food production during plenty seasons, solar dryers increase the demand for healthy foods, creating a sustainable income for farmers. A dried product, for example, kales or skumawiki, if they are stored in a place whereby they are not able to be contaminated by moisture, they can even stay for more than two years. For carrots, they can even stay for one year. One kilogram of dried kales or skumawiki we sell between 800 and 1,000 shillings. What are the other advantages of a solar dryer, you might ask? One is faster drying compared to direct sunlight. Why? The dryer is warmer than outside. They lower the spoilage risk due to fast drying. Dryers protect food against dust, pest, rain, and insects. It also saves labor. You do not need to keep transferring the foods inside when it rains or at night. It has high food quality due to high hygiene, color, and nutrition. Again, it is more economical compared to fuel or electricity dryers because of low maintenance and operation costs. Ultimately, the dryers do not harm the environment. They also last longer. However, Everything with an advantage doesn't lack a disadvantage. The major disadvantage is that overdrying can lead to losses and poor hygiene can introduce microorganisms, leading to food fermentation and losses in the long run. The first aspect of drying is to maintain a high level of hygiene. Use clean water and clean all working surfaces before introducing your vegetables. Wash your hands. Cover your hair, wear a dust coat, gloves, and cut your nails. Only use healthy foods and dispose of those contaminated by molds. Selection. High food quality begins in the garden, not in the processing period. Use good quality vegetables. Select the vegetables that is Sukumawiki, Managu, Terere individually. Discard the ma damaged, rotten, and diseased vegetables. Chop them to increase surface area for drying. I know you're probably wondering how dried vegetables maintain their green color. Well, here is how. Through blanching. Blanch all vegetables in steam or boiling water. This reduces enzyme activities that lead to loss of color, flavor, and texture. Steam blanching is the best. It prevents the loss of nutrients, prevents veggies from adhering, to each other when drying. Under blanching might leave some enzymes in your sukumawiki, managu, and amaranth. Dried vegetables with enzymes deteriorate during storage. What do you need for blanching? Knife and cutting board, large pot with lid, and a basket, large bowl for ice water plunge, a timer, Methods of blanching. Steam blanching. Pour water half full into a large cooking pot with a close fitting lid. Add a tablespoon of salt. Heat the water until it boils. Place a wire or metallic basket with your veggies. Make sure it does not touch the surface of the boiling water. Cover the vegetables. Steam for half the required time. Ensure that all the leaves are steamed before removing them. 
to check for proper blanching sukuma wiki managu or amaranth should be wilted heated through and soft remove the veggies after one and a half minutes and use a blower to cool them optional place them on a paper towel or clean cloth to remove excess moisture cover to keep off dirt and insects as you finish your entire batch transfer to the dryers water blanching boil water and pour vegetables as it is boiling let kale, spinach, managu and amaranth sit in the boiling water for 1 to 2 minutes. Remove and immediately pour into cold water. Preferably cold running water so it does not heat in the process. Let it run for 1 to 2 minutes, similar to the blanching time. The process stops cooking. If no clean running water, have two buckets and let the vegetables sit in the water for 1 to 2 minutes in each bucket. Remove the veggies and place them on the paper towel or clean cloth to remove excess moisture. Cover them to keep off dirt and insects as you finish your entire batch. Transfer to the dryers. Dryers. You can construct or hire an artisan to construct a basic box type solar dryer. The dryer has a wooden frame and wire mesh trays covered with a clear plastic sheet. The size and portability depend on the purpose of the dryer and resource availability. Tray loading. Use clean trays free from contaminants. When working with large quantities, load the trays as you slice or cut. This reduces adhering or the sticking together in bowls. It also kickstarts the drying immediately. Lay the vegetables close to each other without overlapping them. Place the dryers when they are fully exposed to the sun throughout the day. Ensure plastic covers are clean to increase drying performance. Dirty ones prolong the drying period. Keep doors closed after placing each tray and keep insects and flies off the dryer. Drying. Turn the vegetables every six hours. If it is too hot, open the loading doors slightly about 20 centimeters and cover with a mosquito net close as soon as it is cloudy whenever possible keep the box type dryers from rain as they stop drying when it is raining condensation begins and might contaminate your vegetables in hot weather fruits and vegetable slices dry after two full days in the dryer remove the veggies and fruits when they achieve a crunchy feel otherwise Insufficient drying might encourage mold formulation. If not properly dried, allow them to keep drying for another one or two hours. Final products should have approximately 10% moisture content. This cannot allow enzyme development. Unloading the dryer. Unload as soon as the veggies or fruits dry. Unload in the afternoon, preferably when it is sunny, which reduces the chances of food condensation. If possible, package the product while it's in the dryer. Otherwise, package as soon as possible. As foods are highly susceptible to pests, they are also likely to reabsorb moisture. Pack in airtight containers or bags. Brown papers placed in plastic bags are preferable. Smaller quantities have less risk of contamination. Glass containers are more attractive, but they should be placed in dark areas. Label your products with your company name, location, address, expiring and manufacturing dates. Store in a cool, dry and clean place. So, how much can you earn from dried vegetables? One kilogram of dried kale, so skuma wiki, we sell between 800 and 1000 shillings. While if it is flesh, it's only 10 shillings. One row pumpkin will uh, sell at the loud 300 sh shillings, but when we dry, that the same pumpkin will sell at around 1,500 shillings. Thank you for watching, but stop, do not click off the video just yet. I really do appreciate you watching until the end of this video. If you enjoy videos about agribusiness, organic farming, and making substantial income through agriculture, make sure to check out my other content. I feel you will enjoy it. More exciting and educative content on the way, so please stay tuned for that. 
If you have any advice, suggestions, or anything in between, feel free to comment below. I try to respond to you all. Otherwise, have a wonderful time as you continue accomplishing your dreams. Until next time, adios.